Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm not going to do a crap ton of talking through this first cutscene, just kind of setting up the game. I will just say that we're going to be taking a look at Alan Wake American Nightmare today. And uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy this playthrough series. But I'm going to let this play out here for anyone who wants to, to hear it. I will say playing through this again did make me want to play through the uh, original and uh, Alan Wake 2 again. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I will see you when this cutscene ends. The man before you is a champion of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. <laughs> his evil doppelganger. No, only if you want to skip through this part, speech. I will throw a timestamp to say when the cutscenes end and the game actually begins. <laughs> I'll catch you eventually! Maybe. But what are you going to do then? By then, I'll have had my hands on everything you love. All right. Been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. And the playthrough begins. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. Playing this game again made me realize how fun the Alan Wake games are. This one isn't my favorite in the franchise, but it is still a fun one. But it did make me want to play the new one, for sure. See what they did with it. I've also lately been, uh... I've had them for a long time, I just never played them. But, uh... I've been trying out the Evil Within series as well. This is a fun game though. Had some good music. I like the narrator. Like it, it is overall a fun game. <clears throat> Sorry. I uh I don't remember when I first started playing this game. Because I remember I did try it when I first got it. I don't know, a few years ago, whenever that was. So I did have some of the manuscripts already unlocked. That's why uh, I was able to get some of the, the upgraded guns earlier. In another life, the man was a writer. He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. Sorry, I'm not doing a lot of talking. Um, I, just, I, I like the this game too, and it's it's been safety. a little bit since I recorded the, the game, so the I'm getting to experience it again for the begins there. for the first time. It feels like. Somewhere within the earth, space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his Makes me want to watch the Twilight this. Zone with the voiceover. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Sorry for the pause in the Ocarina of Time playthrough right now. I've just had some stuff going on. I haven't had a chance to finish recording Let's it. Stay here now. So it will be coming out. It's just uh, 
gonna take me a little bit of time to get it because I, I got some stuff going on right now hadn't had a chance to finish it but I already had this and a couple of the games pre-recorded so go and get them instead right now but yeah these unlock weapon chests I already had some of the manuscripts from an earlier playthrough to get some of these and I will say later on I guess it's about time getting I these upgraded guns Whoa. oh man it makes life so much simpler Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick. I will say there is a lot of yes, dialogue in this game. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them dangerous. I'm going to deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um, now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. I'm very sensitive to things like that. I don't think I've ever room. once used that nail gun that's that sitting page. on the shelf over there well, during this playthrough. I was just thinking about that. Great, thanks. I think you should be able to find everything. Like you've got satellite, all these cool obviously. guns you can use, and then they just got a random little nail gun over there. I think that go over too well. Even though I'm pretty sure Why in the uh, be the judge of that? artwork for the game, he's holding the nail gun. Either I use it to close a strange <clears throat> portal to a place that isn't in our world, or shadowy serial killer... Sorry if that's annoying. I, uh, just got something yeah, stuck in my throat and I can't seem to get it out right now. You can think what you want about me, but there's still bad guys around. Be careful. Well, you might be nuts, but I've seen the way they move, the way they look. I'll buy that. They're called Taken. They aren't really human. Not anymore. And they're climbing out of the oil well? What, do they have secret headquarters down there, or...? No, that's just where the point of connection is. It's a hole that leads to, well, it's a really nasty place. That's why I need to close it. And the guy who looks like you opened it, because he was hanging around the oil field before. He gets around, unfortunately. Thanks for helping me. Oh, I wish I thought you were just a nutcase. Actually, I kind of expected you to. Me too. But I feel like this is how it's supposed to go. Isn't that weird? Yes. Not really. Very weird. I get that a lot in my line of work. What do you do anyway? I'm a writer. Obviously. <laughs> what was that you said about my aura? Oh. <clears throat> I'm very spiritual, you know. I can see auras. But I only use it for healing and helping people. I'm like a wise woman, you know? I what else would you use aura? Look, seeing just for I say crazy things doesn't mean I believe everything. <clears throat> Don't be like that. Maybe you should take a few crystals with you if you're going out there. It might be dangerous. They soothe your energies and focus your mind. It's fantastic. And they help me take out the bad guys? Oh, well, no, not as such. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm Or I have some wonderfully potent herbal detox suppositories. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I forget, I forgot about the, <laughs> the suppositories. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the extent of my using the nail gun in this playthrough. And I think I literally just picked it up because I'm like, maybe there's an achievement for holding every gun or something. The champion of light recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design, custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Well, here you are. About to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the books. Hey, any of you guys remember... Old this is such a weird area. Like, you've got a gas station, a motel, a diner... 
like an old mine shaft. And I think that's it in this area. Like, what's what's this area for? Like, then you have the trucks uh, over there, so maybe it's like a truck stop area. But like, what, what's this for? Is this like just outside the oil wells? Is this how Arizona actually looks? I've never never been. I can't remember what I'm searching for right now. Like, I know storyline-wise what I'm searching for, but I don't remember what I'm searching for. I think I'm searching for some of the manuscript papers at this point. Because I recorded this probably about a month or so ago, so I actually don't even remember all of it. It's always such a fun concept for a game though, having enemies with the light so you can, in the first one I think you had to like start generators and stuff. That's one thing down. Yeah, definitely gonna have to go back through and play the original Alan Wake in the new one now. Watching this again has made me made me want to play it again. That was just messed up. Something tells me I'm really gonna need the extra firepower. That's two. Just one more to go. I'm going to say there's 40 manuscript pages in all. 53. Ah, I was, I was wrong. That was a good bit off. I don't know if you could. Part of me wants to to try it. But if you know the exact order for the ending of the game, I wonder if you could beat it uh, wait, early. Wait. I might look that up. I might just watch a speedrun of the game and see. If it's one of those games, if you know the ending, if you can skip the game. Or if you have to do it to figure it out. That's everything. The man has found the battery. I love how every time you get a run, he does that little need to be recharged. Jolt thing. Oh hell. This isn't gonna be also for anybody interested. I'm, uh, no, I'm not. I was going to say, I, I, I was going to put timestamps to say when to skip all of these little videos, but I would probably forget to do that. 
So we'll see. I might. Because I know some of these can be pretty long. And most of it isn't the most important to, uh, to the story. just collateral damage really I mean made some information out of them earlier but this part this is just for kids all right so that is going to be the ending of the first episode of the game I'm sorry I'm not super talkative my voice is um it's not feeling great right now but uh I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one